Major advances in architecture, art, and technology were made during the Old Kingdom, fueled by the increased agricultural productivity and resulting population, made possible by a well-developed central administration. Some of ancient Egypt's crowning achievements, the Giza Pyramids and Great Sphinx, were constructed during the Old Kingdom, under the direction of the vizier. State officials collected taxes, coordinated irrigation projects to improve crop yield, drafted peasants to work on construction projects, and established a justice system to maintain peace and order. Quote, with the rising importance of central administration in Egypt, a new class of educated scribes and officials arose who were granted estates by the king in payment for their services. Kings also made land grants to their mortuary cults and local temples to ensure that these institutions had the resources to worship the king after his death. Scholars believe that five centuries of these practices slowly eroded the economic vitality of Egypt and that the economy could no longer afford to support a large centralized administration as the power of the kings diminished. Regional governors called no marches began to challenge the supremacy of the office of king. This, coupled with severe droughts between 2221-50 BC, is believed to have caused the country to enter the 140-year period of famine and strife known as the First Intermediate Period.